Welcome back. Transforming the travel experience, the smart tray is making over the airplane tray tables, allowing flyers uh, to do more while sitting there on the flight. Joining me right now is the smart tray CEO and president, Nick Patrick, along with smart tray COO, Jay Esty, and Astronics, Astronics Director of Business Development, Dennis Marker. Great to see you guys. Thank you so much Thanks. for joining us. You, and you Thank brought, you brought the, the smart tray in. Nick, tell us how you came up with the idea for the company. I spent a lot of time uh, on the airplanes flying, and I saw people struggling using their devices. Uh, I saw them propping the, their mobile, mobile phones on top of the bottles, folding the clothing, propping the device against the clothing. And I also saw a lot of fatigue on the planes. Uh, mm. People would, you know, if, imagine just you're on a five, six hour flight or four hour flight and you're holding your device in a hand. So I thought there had to be a better way. And, and there is, yeah. And there is, yeah. And, and we're looking at it. This is cool. Jay, tell us about how this works here. All right. You can just put your laptop or your phone right on it. Well, the important thing here was to make sure that the design didn't impede the top of the tray. So we wanted to make sure that it, it rotated out, but also not just cradle, but we also wanted to make sure it was going to be safe so it supports the uh, device. So, so now the device can be uh, taken out of your hand. You can still surf. You can still enjoy the Wi-Fi and the content, but you can also still utilize the tray for beverages or if you've got screaming kids next to you and they need some games to put on the tray table, they can still have a their, uh, their, their uh, cartoons and, and such here so that they can still enjoy that. It's, it's something that we needed, actually. You saw a need and, it, and you filled it's it. Kinda you, obvious, isn't it's kind of obvious. Yeah, you entered an exclusive licensing agreement with Astronix. That's correct. Tell us about that, Dennis. And, and, and uh, you have market knowledge, customer base, and core expertise. Correct, correct. Well, I've met Nick a number of times. Uh, at industry trade shows, and I felt the device was really unique. And there is a, an ecosystem of passengers bringing on their electronic devices and have to have power. We, we're the number one supplier of uh, power in the world for seats and, so, and on so aircraft. So you work with airlines to get these trays inside the airplane? Oh, yeah. We have uh, over 230 airline customers direct that we sell to. So we have this uh, market path for the product, and it's so unique. And so passengers bring on their electronic devices. We provide the power for them to be able to power those devices and charge them, and now we have the holder for it. So we really completed this, this electronic ecosystem. We just felt it was so unique we had to be part of it. You've already worked with rails? Yes. Uh, okay, yes. so tell me about the, the, the rail. R rail and bus and yeah. automotive. So we already have applications on uh, rail cars, uh, on seats that never had tray tables, but they wanted that passenger experience. They're providing Wi-Fi on the, uh, on the rail cars now and content, and people will always have the devices with them. So they, they need a place to be able to put them and to be able to be safe while they're on their travel as well as enjoy the so content. So where does the growth come from now, Nick? You, do you have to get licensing deals with the airlines direct, or do you do that with Dennis? How, how do you see growth happening at So Smart within Tray? the aerospace industry, we're, we work with Astronix uh, to deploy SmartTray uh, on airlines. Yeah. Uh, we work directly uh, for, with rail and bus, automotive and so on industry to deploy uh, SmartTray pet holders, if you will, uh, in that uh, mode of transportation. Uh, we work with seat OEMs, uh, both in aerospace industry as well as um, the, what we call ground verticals industry. And what's the price of something like that? It's competitive with the existing product. Okay. So uh, not only is it competitive, uh, they're getting extra value. So it's a step, a step beyond. Now, we're protected, the IP is protected. We have over 14 U.S. granted patents uh, filed in Europe and about to uh, have those patents granted as well. Great so, idea. Very guys. excited. Yeah, yeah, well, it's an exciting uh, moment. Thank you so much for joining uh, us. Uh, thank uh, you. Nick Patrick, Jay Esty, and Dennis Marker. Good to see you guys. Thank you so much.